Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the March update for my Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. This was a project that was created many years ago by Alexi, who I'll have linked down below and this project has absolutely taken off over the course of the last couple of years. So there are so many other creators who do this project. You can just search the hashtag Pan Those Eyeshadows and I guarantee you will have days, weeks, probably even months worth of eyeshadow panning content to binge watch. I will also have all of my other projects that I'm currently participating in linked down below in case you're interested in seeing any of my other project pans. But if you're interested in seeing the progress that I have made on the six eyeshadows that I am currently working on in my project pan, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content, eyeshadow palette, themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's get in to the video. All right, you guys, everybody seems to structure their Pan Those Eyeshadows project a little bit differently, which is another reason I love this project, just because everyone seems to tailor it the way that best works for them. So the way that I've structured mine this year is I randomly generated five different eyeshadow palettes and then randomly generated different shades to work on in within those five palettes. And then I also am working on a sixth shade and that shade is from an eyeshadow palette from a different series that I do on my channel called Palettes on Their Last Two Raw. I'll also leave that link down below in case you're interested in seeing which palettes are included in that series. It's basically a chopping block style of palette series on my channel. Um, I have like 10 to 12 different palettes that I am basically like feel like I'm ready to declutter them or need to declutter them, but like can't get myself to declutter them. So I feel like using them or like putting extra focus on those palettes throughout this year might motivate me at the end of this year to declutter them. But it's also just kind of like a chopping block style of project. So the last couple of months I have been choosing the palette within that series that I want to then randomly generate a shade from. And that's actually worked really well. I've really enjoyed doing my project this way. The rules for hitting pan in my project. So to roll a shade out, I either have to hit pan on that eyeshadow shade or I have to use that shade a minimum of 15 times or that shade has needs to be in my project, like me actively working on that shade for three months or longer. I have given myself three vetoes to use throughout the year. So if a shade just really is not working for me, I can exercise the right to veto that shade uh, within a, up to three times this year. Before we get into my progress on these six eyeshadows that I was working on in this project, I do always like to start by sharing any other bonus pans that I hit throughout the month of February. And I do have one bonus pan to share with you from February. And that comes from my Natasha Denona Mini Love Eyeshadow Palette. I hit pan on the shade True, which is this shade right here. This was a really beautiful inner corner um, highlighting shade, which I used quite frequently throughout the month of February as I was creating tons of pink looks. I pulled a ton of pink and purple uh, palettes in my February palette stash that I was focused on creating looks for throughout the month of February and I was consistently reaching for this as an inner corner highlight and I'm very excited to have a pan on this. I have quite a few pans throughout my Natasha Denona mini palettes and I think next I'm going to move on to my Natasha Denona mini glam palette and try and hit pan on the inner corner highlight there but very excited to add another pan to my collection. Now we'll get into the six eyeshadow pans that I was working on throughout this project. I do have two more pans to share with you guys, which I'm super excited about. I'll quickly pop up a picture over here to show you the uh, color story that we were working with. I do have most of the shadows on my eyes today. The only one that I don't have on my eyes today is the blue shade from my Trace Luce palette. Trace Luce? I don't know how to pronounce it. So quickly we'll get into, we'll start with the exciting stuff, the two other pans that I hit in this project. So I did hit pan on the shade that I was working on in the Marc Jacobs electric palette and I hit pan on the shade the rhythm which is this deep brown shade right here I'm hoping you'll be able to see the pan it is a baby pan but it is there so I mostly used this as a brow shade um, I did reach for this shade a total of 12 times this month and I also reached for this pink shade up here as a lid topper shade a couple of times this month as well. So I feel like I got some great use out of this palette. I'm really happy that I decided to pull this palette for my February palette. I'm very excited to add another pan to my collection. And while I will be rolling this palette out, I am gonna keep this at my desk and uh, make sure I create a look with this really beautiful blue silver shade before I officially put this back. Like how stunning is that shade? 
I'm mad at myself for not creating a look using that shade. So we have a new pan in the Marc Jacobs. This palette will be rolling out, but I am gonna try and create a look with this shade before I officially put it back on my bookcase with the rest of my palettes. And then the third pan that I hit throughout the month of February comes from my Trace Luce palette. And I was working on the shade Grateful, which is this blue shade right here. You should be able to see there's a pretty good pan going in this palette. So I actually only reached for this shade two times in the month of February and one time in the month of January, meaning I only reached into the shade three times to uh, hit pan. But I will say this is an incredibly crumbly formula. And the three times that I used it, I used it as a lower lash line um, shade all across my lower lash line. So I was using a pencil brush and that mixed with the fact that it was just so crumbly, I hit pan on it really easily. Uh, I do want to pull this palette back out at some point. Maybe I'll pull it into potentially like my May or June palette shop my stash rotation because i do want to test out the other formulas or the other shades in this palette i really only got use out of the shade grateful as well as divina um which i used as an inner corner highlight but i am ready to put this palette back for a little bit so we will be rolling out rolling this palette out and rolling in another shade another pan to replace this one so that brings us to the other four palettes now there is another palette that i am going to be rolling i'm going to exercise my right to veto and i'm going to roll out the shade that i'm working on from the ColourPop lil ray of sunshine palette and the sh shade that i'm working on in this palette is the shade chillin which is this shade right here i will swatch this one so i reached for this palette as a whole a total of 17 times throughout the month of february but that was mostly to reach into this shade right here which i believe is happy place i believe i never know how to like read the backs of the palette like i'm probably just an idiot but i never know if i'm saying the right shade anyway um i use this a ton as a lid setting shade um pretty much every time i did my makeup with the exception of like five times um, because I did do my makeup 22 times throughout the month of February. I will continue to reach into this palette until I hit pan on this shade. This is just like, I always am focused on a lid setting shade until I hit pan and then I cycle on to the next one. But this is taking me so long to hit pan on this. I just have a feeling this shade specifically would, it would take me so long to hit pan on this. And I could work on it for another month and then roll it out because I would have been working on it for three months at that time. But I kind of just want to work on a different shade. I feel like I have so many shades in the same color story and color variety that I'm just ready to put this one back. I'm ready to just exercise my right to veto this palette. So I am going to be rolling in a different shade to replace that I'm chilling shade. And then the final three palettes I have progress to share with you on will all be staying in. So I'll swatch them along my hand so we can recreate our new color story. And I'll start with uh, least used and we'll work our way up to most used. So my Alter Ego Canyon palette I am currently working on the shade Desert Sun, which is this shade right here. You should be able to see that there is some disturbance within this shade. I reached for this shade three times in the month of February and then reached for it two times in the month of January, putting me at five total usage uses. Um, I do really like this shade. I really enjoy this palette. I just, again, was doing a ton of like pink tone looks throughout the month of February and just wasn't reaching in to create a ton of just like neutral brown looks So I didn't use this palette all that often, but I am excited to see again. There is some disturbance there I do already have a pan in this palette on the shade expanse and the pants are like a decently deep size So I feel like it's gonna be a couple more months before I hit pan on this I've reached for this five total times if I did not say I feel like this would take a few more than 15 uses to hit pan but maybe right around 15 uses this is also a palette I feel like will work really well in the summertime. So even if I hit my 15 uses or next month will be at that three month mark, I anticipate I will continue to just work on this shade until I hit pan, but that is where we stand there. I'm hoping to reach for this more than three times. Maybe my goal will be to reach for this at least five times in the month of March. I feel like with all of the green palettes that I recently selected in my March palette stash, I could use this shade with some of like my green looks. Like I feel like it'll be easier for me to reach for this shade and combine this with other green palettes I have pulled. So five, five uses minimum will be my goal on that. And I have my Pat McGrath Divine, no, Pat McGrath Rose Decadence palette. And the shade that I'm working on in this palette 
is this shade right here. I do already have a pan on this shade up here and the pans in this are pretty deep. It did take me quite a while to hit pan on that pink shade, which is why I'm a little bit nervous about this one, but I also love this shade so much. And this is another one that I feel like this sort of like bronzy, seductive sort of shade is just one that's really going to work really well in like the summertime as well. So even if this one takes me a little bit of time, I really am committed to hitting pan on this. I think it'll take me more than 15 uses just if I'm trying to remember. I feel like this took at least 25 to 30 times to hit pan on this one. I do have this one um, on like the outer part of my lid today and i i love this shade don't get me wrong i absolutely love the shade i'm also interested in using this shade in a look i won't swatch this with the color story but maybe i'll swatch it right there i feel like that would be really beautiful for one of my march like more like golden looks um so i am looking to use that shade as well at least one time my goal i think for this will be to reach for this at least five times in March as well. And then the final shade that I've been working on is from the ColourPop Pisces in the Sky quad. And I am working on, oh my goodness, I'm gonna assume Empath Much Dream, I don't know. I never know. How are you supposed to read the shade names? But I'm working on this shade right here. There is some disturbance in this as well. I reached for this a total of six times. And honestly, I could have reached for this more. I'm a little ashamed I only reached for this six times because this is such a light shade. I could really use this with just about any look I create just to even like buff out other shades or blend things together. This is a little bit more like firmly pressed than like your average color pop matte in like the nine pan or the 12 pan nine pan in like the nine pan palettes it's just a little bit more firmly pressed i am getting like a little bit of hard pan but nothing nothing too bad and i do really enjoy this quad i also really like the shades up here i think this is a really fun quad i feel like this will be beautiful as we like carry into springtime so this is another one i feel like will take me more than 15 uses but i also feel like i'm committed to hitting pan on this one as well not not that color pop uh sunflower palette but this one i am so these are the three shades we are rolling over for this next month but now we have two palettes to roll in and then randomly generate shades and i also have my uh palettes on their last two raw palette to randomly generate a shade from so let's get into that so first up from my palettes on their last two raw series i want to choose a shade out of my natasha Denona lila palette now this is a palette that i don't necessarily feel like I will declutter but I just wanted to make more of an effort to reach for this palette this year so I'm actually very excited to generate a shade and to just give me that like panner's motivation to reach into this palette this was the first Natasha Denona palette that I purchased and it is one of our $129 palettes so it's a palette that I just do that thing where I feel like I can't use it unless it's like the most special of special occasions and there's never a special occasion in my life like really there's very rarely very rarely special occasions so i never reached for this palette and i'm just so actually excited to to give myself a reason to reach for this so we're going to randomly generate the shade and then we will randomly generate the other two palettes that we will be working on so there are 15 shades in this palette and we will just um we will go across so I'm kind of nervous. I, if I get, literally, I'm going to be so upset if I get a matte shade, honestly. But especially if I get this shade or like this shade, I'll be really disappointed. I'll also be a little bit disappointed in this. So like, why am I sharing this into the universe? Because we all know I'm going to get one of those shades then. Shade 15. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Oh my gosh. I feel like this would be actually an amazing shade to work on because it's like probably the most neutral shimmer of the pack. But then like, I'll be reaching into this palette already. So I'll reach for other shades, hopefully. So the 15th shade is obviously this shade right here. I love this shade. It's like a purpley taupe almost, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh yes, this is gonna, I actually like feel like I just like my heart actually skipped a beat and I felt it and I'm not just exaggerating. So here it is swatched right here. This is going to be so beautiful for just like neutral everyday looks with like a glamorous pop. I am all here for this. I am actually so freaking pumped about this. I need to reach for this palette at least 10 times. Like get it together, girlfriend. Let's reach for our expensive palettes and actually like get use out of palettes we spent a lot of money on. Okay, so now we need to randomly generate two new eyeshadow palettes to work on. So I'm up to 160 eyeshadow palettes. So I have this set to 
random numbers between 1 and 60 or 160 we get number 59 and number 79 so I'm going to reference my spreadsheet and number 59 is the ooh, Huda Coral Obsessions palette I do have a pan in that and I do really enjoy that palette I would have been happier if that got pulled in like the summertime but that's okay and then number 79 is my Lawless the Glam One eyeshadow palette, which is a newer eyeshadow palette to my collection, but I've really been enjoying that. So I'm gonna go grab those two palettes and we will see what shades we're gonna work on. All right, so we have my Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. And like I said, I do already have an eyeshadow pan in this palette. These are like thinner, more shallow pans. They're not the deepest, so that's good. But honestly, I really hope I really hope I get like this shade or one of the shimmer shades, but we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. So I'm going to randomly generate a number between one and eight, and we'll just like skip over this if we get the one with pan in it already. So we get number five. So one, two, three, four, five. It's the shade I, it's the shade I wanted. Although this is going to be very similar to that um, ColourPop shade from Pisces in the Sky. I'm actually going to swatch down here because I've run out of room up here. Okay, it's a little bit deeper than the ColourPop Pisces in the Sky, but not by a whole heck of a lot. Those are two very similar shades, but that's okay. I feel like I'm getting like the most neutral, boring color stories ever, but it is what it is. Okay, so then we have the Lawless, the Glam One eyeshadow palette. This is what this one looks like. I'm just gonna do one, a number between one through seven because I don't wanna work on a black shade that just sounds like a hate pan waiting to happen and i am not about that life i hope i get numbers one or five for this because i would really love to pan a shimmer shade i only have one shimmer that i'm currently working on so we'll see how this goes i feel like this is just going to go right along with the rest of my color story though because i have such a neutral color story already and this is a very neutral palette all right so we are going to roll and we get number six that's not a shimmer shade okay so we get oh but this would probably have been my second choice so one two three four five and six we get this beautiful mob toned pink shade this is probably my most used shade out of the palette thus far um but it is very like purple and mob toned although ooh, like this this and this as like a simple look like i'm feeling that yes that's gonna be that's gonna be good okay those are going to be the six shades that I am focused on for this next month. I will take a picture, obviously, of my color story and maybe pop it up right here just so you can kind of see without me like holding my fist up to you. Um, not the most exciting color story ever, but I'm seeing some very, honestly, like I'm seeing like quads of three that would be really easy, simple, quick looks to do. And hopefully I will be able to use, my goal will be to use each of these palettes at least five times each update. So hopefully I'll have more exciting progress and more eyeshadow pans to share with you in my April update, but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I would love to know if you hit eyeshadow pan on anything throughout the month of February. Let a girl know. Other than that, thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.